This is our line of tile core drilling machines and they're specifically designed for fast and accurate drilling in hard materials, either dry or wet. They're perfect for materials like uh, ceramic, porcelain tile, natural stone, concrete, brick, materials like that. And they're far superior to, say, a rotary hammer because there's no chance of cracking the tile. The motors are 650 watts and we have three variations. The high speed model, which drills up to 20 millimeters, and the low speed model, which drills up to 40 millimeters, and the two speed model, which has the gearing of both machines combined. They all have a quick release collar, which allows you to clear the core out of the bit before continuing. To remove the, the quick release, simply pull back on the collar and pull it out. And this will allow you to push out the core out of the bit if it's stuck with a tool. And to replace, turn until it snaps in place. The ergonomic handle allows you to keep your arm in line with the bit, which uh, allows you to make very accurate drilling. Every machine comes standard with the special suction centering guide with drain hose. Two adapters, one is M14, one is G1 half, which is BSPP thread. The side handle and collar, two wrenches, and the special blow molded case. The case neatly fits everything, including all optional accessories. A suction centering guide is a unique accessory. Firstly, it has two purposes. One is to, is to guide the machine and allow it so that you can control exactly where, the, where it starts. The suction cup simply attaches to the workpiece and holds it steady. And these two rollers will give you a surface to rest your bit against so that it won't wander. It has the drain hose and also you can attach a, vacu a wet, wet and dry vacuum cleaner to keep to control the slurry. And this is the splash guard which adjusts to match the diameter of your bit. So the, the machine will be with the bit resting against the two rollers and then you adjust your splash guard to minimize your splashing and you drill. The side handle fits on the collar and can be adjusted to any angle. We have a number of important optional accessories. We have an 850 milliliter pressurized water tank and it mounts right on the collar and includes the side handle. It pumps. And alternately we have a water supply kit which mounts right onto the collar. The pressurized water tank mounts right on the collar and holds 850 milliliters of water and you, it's completely autonomous so you don't have to have a water supply. You simply pump it to get enough pressure and this is the flow regulator which you can adjust to give the amount of water flow you need. And the side handle can mount on either side. The water supply kit threads into the collar and supplies water for wet drilling. It has a quick release coupling and also has a regulator for controlling water flow. Now we'll mount a 40 millimeter bit. You can either mount the quick release first or assemble them first and mount into the quick release either way. Since this is a 40 millimeter, we should change to first gear. Remember, always turn the spindle to make sure it fully engages. Next we mount our suction centering guide. Since we're going to be dry drilling, we attach a vacuum hose. And then we use the suction cup to mount it to the workpiece. Now we mount the guide in the location of the intended hole. Compress and engage the suction cup. Plug into the universal accessory socket. Energize the PRCD by pressing reset. Always test to make sure it's functioning properly. If it shuts off, that means it's working properly. Then energize and switch to auto. Rest against the rollers and adjust the splash guard. And begin drilling.
Remove the pressurized water tank from the machine when refilling. Mount the pressurized water tank. Make sure it's nice and straight so you don't damage the O-rings. Work it on. And then straighten. And then tighten the screw. And the bit is mounted to the adapter. Simply pull back on the quick release, push in, and turn to make sure it locks in place. This is a 20 millimeter, so we should change to second gear. Always turn the spindle to make sure it goes into gear and snap it in place. Give the tank a few pumps to pressurize the tank. Add the drain hose. Open the water regulator for the amount of water you need. You don't need very much. 